everybody welcome back to my two priorities I am upstairs at the moment I'm pretty happy with how that wall has come together and then this weekend we spent some time moving some of the stuff from that side of the room into the middle so that we could take apart that stuff that's on this wall and um, do the same thing on I mean, it's not gonna get treated the same um, but it's <laughs> I have to be able to get to it in order to paint or do the stuff that I plan to do to it. So um, it's uh, kind of exhausting to move big heavy things around. This orange sofa, <laughs> that thing is a monster and I can't even begin to budget. It is so heavy. I can't move it myself. So um, that's one interesting element. I'm not sure if it'll stay because I'm not crazy about having things in my environment that I can't move. Um, that's kind of a thing so um, yeah it's still chaotic it still feels very chaotic up here um, but never fear we are making progress we really are so that's cool so it's just um, piece by piece by piece none of this has to be glorious or glamorous or anything particularly special it just needs to be uh, workable um, as a workshop so little piece by little piece we are making good progress and I'm happy about that I'm also alternately overwhelmed by how much we own <laughs> so I've got a stack of goodies to go off to Goodwill I've got them all in one place uh, that's cool I've got some things that I will be giving friends who don't need them any more than I do but you know <laughs> help me get rid of some stuff so yeah it's um, it's we've made some progress and that's good. We've made we have made some progress. <laughs> has been to make some clothing start a capsule wardrobe and they say when you're doing uh, history bounding things to start with the undergarments so I have made a chemise <laughs> I followed the pattern and I really like how it turned out the thing was I put it on and I had followed the pattern so the the neck hole was so big that it was there was no way I could even keep it on so I added a bunch of tucks in the front to make it to shrink the neck hole up and added some in the back as well. Now I made this from a vintage tablecloth, something that has been around for many, many moons. So it has periodically, you may see a little hole in it or some staining here and there, uh, consistent with its first life as a tablecloth. I'm not bothered by this. This is an undergarment and what I really, really love about it is that it is so incredibly soft. I've also mentioned before that I'm working on a pair of 18th century stays and I've made a good deal of progress. I, um, I attached the lining and then I came along this weekend and um, sewed this part of the lining to the back. I don't have the bottom done. And on both sides. So the lining is now attached where the gussets are. And then I added this binding and I thought, well, I'm at it. I'm going to go ahead and add a piece of vintage lace from my stash. And then <laughs> vintage lace, I couldn't get it to lay nicely. So I came back through and just um, tacked all these little points down because they just, I mean, it's been so long, even ironing couldn't make this stuff. Um, it's been so long since it's made, I guess. I don't know. Um, it was just one big wrinkly mess. So I came along and... Um, sewed it all down, sewed all the little points down, so <laughs> it would be pretty again. And so I really like how it looks so far. And this is the front. It's going to go on like so. And I'm already planning and plotting my next one because this is so cool. Um, naturally, it would be good if I finished the first one first. So I have the bottom edge to do, and then it will be time to lace this baby up on top of my new chemise and see how it works. Um, I have tried it on. It feels really good on. I am really totally looking forward to being able to um, put on the finished garment though. So the bottom edge is up next. And I still think it looks like a bat. So 
when I started this vlog, I was expecting to do, uh, to talk about the upstairs project that I've got going on, a 90 day challenge of making a priority. I was also expecting to work on my capsule wardrobe, making things for myself. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add the weaving to the process because this is so much fun. I just got this out of the dryer. It is the, the weaving project that I had been working on now for a couple of weeks. And I really love how it turned out. You can see that the warp was very intentional from the fuchsia on this side into the green. And then I wove with those same colors with the um, same variations. Uh, so you can see there's stripes, there's uh, interesting stuff happening. It's really cool. Now this has been felted, mind you, so it has a very different texture than it did when it came off the loom. But it's from the fuzzy, fuzzy uh, fuchsia over into the turquoise. And then here back into the, back into the green. So there's just a real... There's so much beautiful cloth here that I'm really happy with. It shrank like crazy. I should have measured it before it went in because I started out on the loom doing about 30 inches wide and it is now, let's see how wide it is. <laughs> it's 23 wide. So there was a lot, I mean, Naturally, when it comes off the loom, there is a t what's called take up, which means it loses 10% just coming off the loom. Uh, this particular case, usually they say felting will take another 10%, but I, I'm experiencing it being more than that. Now, I haven't done the math specifically to be able to tell you how much more, but with the wools that I'm using, it's, it's taking up. And I'm weaving a fairly loose weave for this, so it's, it's shrinking more. I guess because I'm, I'm weaving so so gently. Um, so this is 341 grams of wool and just to give you perspective, one of these is 50 grams, okay? So this is equal to seven of these. This is equal to seven of these, okay? <laughs> just to give you a little perspective of how much wool is actually in here. So the beauty of that is, is you can pick your colors and um, I know that it's an upfront cost to put together something like this, but you can make more than one item <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. Uh, so this is the equivalent to seven of these palette yarn skeins. No, it's, it wasn't just palette yarn that I used in here, but so I'm so happy with it. I don't know if I mentioned that I did a section of this warp in a, a natural wool. It's not a super, it's not optically weighted. It's just a natural white wool. And then I added some pastels. So I used this row in here. Uh, you can see it starts here with the, the green, into the blue, into the lavender, into the pink. And so what happens here is this really cool, kind of complex combination of colors. I love it! I am really happy with it! <laughs> so I don't know yet if it's going to become wearable or if it's going to become a tote bag or a purse or something. I don't know, but I am absolutely loving the cloth and uh, maybe it's time to think about what's next on the loom because you know this is totally addictive 